Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're peeling back the layers on one of Netflix's most iconic shows, Narcos. The series gives us a gripping look at the life of Pablo Escobar, but there's a lot more to his story than what's shown on screen. Get ready to discover the top 10 things Netflix is hiding about Pablo Escobar. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Now, let's get started. These are the 10 things Netflix is hiding about Don Pablo Escobar, Medellin cartel leader, first narco-terrorist, and richest criminal of all time. Number 10, Escobar's Robin Hood Image. In Narcos, we see Escobar portrayed as a Robin Hood-like figure, showering the poor with money and building homes. But what the show doesn't fully reveal is how calculated this was. Escobar's generosity was a strategic move to build a loyal base among the poor, who in turn protected him and fed his larger-than-life image. He wasn't just a benevolent benefactor, he was buying loyalty and support. While he did help many, it was all part of his grand strategy to keep the public on his side and make it harder for the government to take him down. Number 9. Political Ambitions The series briefly touches on Escobar's political career, but the real story is much deeper. In the early 1980s, Escobar was elected as an alternate member of Colombia's Congress. This wasn't just a power trip, it was a calculated attempt to gain political immunity and legitimacy. His position allowed him to bribe officials, influence laws, and expand his drug empire under the guise of a legitimate businessman. But his ambitions didn't stop there. Escobar had dreams of becoming Colombia's president, a move that terrified the country's elite and set the stage for his eventual downfall. Number 8, Escobar's Hit List Netflix shows us a ruthless Escobar, but the extent of his violence is often understated. Escobar was directly responsible for the deaths of over 4,000 people. His victims included judges, politicians, journalists, and countless civilians. His notorious sicarios, hired assassins, carried out his deadly orders without hesitation. One of the most chilling aspects of Escobar's reign of terror was his Plata o Plomo policy, silver or lead, forcing people to choose between taking a bribe or a bullet. Number 7, The Hacienda Napoles Estate We get a glimpse of Escobar's lavish estate in Narcos, but the real Hacienda Napoles was even more extravagant than depicted. This wasn't just a mansion, it was a massive complex that included a zoo with exotic animals like hippos, elephants, and giraffes, a private airstrip, and even a kart racing track. Today, it stands as a bizarre tourist attraction, a testament to Escobar's excessive wealth and his twisted sense of grandeur. Number 6. Escobar's Family Life Netflix dramatizes Escobar's family dynamics, but the real story is more complex. His family lived in a strange mix of luxury and constant fear. They were always on the run, and Escobar went to extreme lengths to protect them. In one infamous incident, he burned $2 million in cash to keep his daughter warm while they were hiding in the mountains. His family's existence was a blend of opulence and perpetual danger, showing the high personal cost of his criminal empire. Number 5. The Unbelievable Wealth of Pablo Escobar Pablo Escobar, the notorious Colombian drug lord, amassed a fortune that defies belief. At his peak, Escobar's Medellin cartel controlled 80% of the global cocaine market, raking in a staggering $420 million per week. His wealth funded a lavish lifestyle, including his private estate, Hacienda Napoles, complete with a zoo, a bullring, and a private airport. Despite his violent reign, Escobar was seen as a Robin Hood figure by many in Medellin, as he built houses, hospitals, and soccer fields for the poor. This philanthropy earned him local support and loyalty. His fortune was so vast that he reportedly spent $2,500 a month on rubber bands to hold his cash. 
Escobar buried millions across Colombia, much of which remains hidden today, fueling ongoing treasure hunts. Pablo Escobar's wealth was as legendary as his crimes, leaving a legacy that continues to fascinate and intrigue. Number 4. The Cali Cartel Rivalry While Narcos touches on the rivalry with the Cali Cartel, the real-life conflict was a brutal and bloody war. The Cali Cartel was not just a rival but a formidable enemy that matched Escobar's power and ruthlessness. Their clashes led to a violent power struggle that wreaked havoc across Colombia. The rivalry wasn't just about business, it was a deadly game of survival and supremacy, with each side resorting to extreme measures to outdo the other. Number 3. Innovative Smuggling Tactics Netflix shows some of Escobar's smuggling operations, but the full scale and ingenuity of his tactics are astonishing. Escobar used submarines, planes, boats, and even built hidden airstrips in the jungle. His network spanned across continents, and he constantly devised new methods to evade law enforcement. His ability to innovate kept him ahead of the authorities and made it incredibly difficult to track his operations. Number 2. The Extradition Fear One of Escobar's biggest fears, which drove many of his actions, was the threat of extradition to the United States. This fear was so intense that he declared war on the Colombian government to prevent it. The slogan, better a grave in Colombia than a cell in the U.S., became his mantra. His extreme measures, including bombing campaigns and political assassinations, were aimed at forcing the Colombian government to abandon extradition policies. And finally, number one, the end of Escobar. Netflix portrays Escobar's death with high drama, but the real events were even more chaotic and mysterious. After escaping from his luxurious prison, La Catedral, Escobar was hunted by Colombian authorities, rival cartels, and the USDA. The exact details of his death remain controversial, with some believing he might have taken his own life to avoid capture. While the official story is that he was shot by police, the truth is still debated, adding another layer of intrigue to his already complex legacy. There you have it, 10 things Netflix is hiding about Pablo Escobar. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments what other hidden truths you'd like us to uncover. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.